Hiya, welcome to my channel, my first recording. Um, I just thought I'd introduce myself and um, I'm Jennifer um, and so far I'm hopefully selling my house and getting a narrow boat to actually live on full time. So my situation at the moment is I've sold the motorhome um, my house is up for sale and at the weekend um, I got a confirmed bid for my house which is brilliant, a beautiful couple. Um, so they have a survey in a couple of weeks so until that's over you never know, you can't dream, do you know what I mean? Um, I thought I would record this um, like vlog just to document everything that I go through because most of the blogs I've seen um, they've already bought the narrow boat um, and I have put an offer in on a narrow boat I'm hoping that it's going to be brilliant um, it goes in for a survey next week but there's no guarantee at all that, that it's actually going to go through everything and everything's going to be great the same as me buyer there's no guarantee the survey is what they want and this house is what they they want so um that is the situation at the moment so on friday i was dry on friday i had the viewing so i didn't know that they were going to offer at that point because they still had houses to see the next day they did intimate that yeah they really like the house but you you just never know um so um i drove up to doncaster on saturday so this is probably the 15th actual viewing of both um so far and i am a novice so far my only advice is definitely look at a boat never ever buy a boat from just the photographs because there's been so many that i've seen that look beautiful on the photographs and then you actually walk in and i've seen that there's some that needs like so much work doing to it but the photographs look beautiful so um it's definitely not a true representation. Even the videos that they do is not a true rep representation. So if you really see this, definitely walk in and have a look. Um, on the Saturday, I went, I drove up to Doncaster to um, <clears throat> to view a boat which I knew was like it. It was it wasn't described as a project boat. It was described that it just needed a little bit DIY and um, it needed a bathroom fitting. But all the paperwork was there and all the electrics because in um, a narrow boat, you basically your plug for your bath or your shower is underneath the water. So you do need a pump to pump it out in into the water and not the water come back in. So that was supposed to be all there and then when i got there it just was it was too much there was too much work that needs to be done it should have been marketed as a project boat rather than a diy and i'm quite good at diy but not not that much and i need a boat that i'm quite happy, happy doing work but i don't i want the basics there if that makes sense i want to a good starter boat um, I still work, so I still need to be able to work from there and live from there and not, I haven't got the luxury of, of time and to be able to take me time doing a boat out. So there's certain basics that need to be there. I'm quite happy stylizing it and doing as, as a basic DIY. So I was sitting in a hotel in Doncaster, well, about an hour from Doncaster. Um, and 
I just googled and thought there must be marinas around here that I can go and have a look at boats. So I did and I went to view um, four boats and one of them just, it just felt right that there was no warning signs when I was walking through. Don't get me wrong, it's it, it's got a city that I definitely don't like. That was one thing which I hadn't realised that when you look at the photographs of boats and um, like the videos of boats, whatever's on there is yours to remove if you buy the boat. So even if you don't like the furniture, you don't like anything, it's yours to remove. You actually buy all the contents that's left as well as the furniture. Um, and some of them have been quite horrific and I'm like, oh, I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> but um, anyway, this boat had a set that I don't particularly like, but the essence of the boat was lovely. It looks as though you've really looked after the engine. Um, I know they've bought a more modern boat and I think he's quite concerned that he doesn't have the amount of detail that you need to look after old engines um so that's that's a learning curve potentially that they're going through um but i got a good price put the offer on and it's up for the survey on a thursday of this week so i'm going to travel back up on wednesday night stop overnight and be there for when the surveyors are because this is the only time really if it's a good boat, I'll have an independent person basically giving us advice, describing and, and really giving us a history of a boat rather than reading a report. I can ask the questions direct and, and get all the information. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I've never been through a boat survey, so I've got no idea. So hopefully house is sold. Uh, boat is bought. Um, it, I probably will record the video on Thursday, mainly for my reference, but I don't know if I can post it because that's it, it's all to do with the severe. He might say, I'm not happy about it. So I might not be able to bring you through that part of it. Um, but I can record if I'm there independently by myself. Um, and especially if I've got the boat, um, I'm hoping that I get to find out a little bit of a history about the boat, but it all depends if it's, I've decided there's very basically three types of boats that you can get. You can get, um, a traditional, which gives you more inside space, but it's very small on the outside. You basically stand inside the 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 entrance to your boat when you stay um and although that that's brilliant because it gives you inside space um for me and having a dog he's not one he he won't want to be inside all the time and there's no like rail around or anything like that um so the 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 boat I, I really wanted to go for was um which i thought was a semi traditional because um i thought it gives you a little bit less indoor space than a traditional um it's not it's not that bad and it's got like two bench seats next to the entrance to your boat at the back where you stay um the tiller i think it's called um and I thought that would, that would be great because my dog could sit on one side and look over the side and enjoy the, the journey, but be with us if that's what he wants to do. And then he can go inside when he wants to. Um, but he's not forced to stop inside. And I think especially the summer, he might, he might be able to want to be inside, outside. I don't know. But at least he's got the choice. Um, and initially I didn't want a cruiser stern because that's got a bigger outside area at the back um it's great to sit down and you could put a table and chairs and um if if anyone comes on your journey there's enough space for people to walk around um but again it gives you a little bit less indoor space um but i thought initially 
I would be too exposed there. Um, but this one's a cruiser stern. <laughs> and i totally love it it's got a front crotch cover which is the canvas or well, whatever it's made out of canvas cover at the front as well as the back which for because i'm going to be living on it full time when i come in with the dog with muddy boots with wet clothes with anything like that it's going to be so good to be able to just hang it up there and not actually take it in on the boat um i don't know how i'm going to feel when it's windy and I'm standing there right at the back, quite exposed, but it is what it is. If this boat is good, I have bought it. I have 100% bought it because I love it. It does have solar, need solar, I need power. I'm going to get them to check it out and I'm going to get them to check um, the battery setup as well because that is super important. I really want to get on the boat and only do things on the evening, if that makes sense. So... If I get bored, I'll probably decorate. I'll probably do crafts. I don't know. I'll probably, there's no way I'll probably sit still unless I'm tired, unless I've done loads of locks that day and I'm physically exhausted. But if I'm stopping somewhere for a couple of weeks, then it, it would be nice to, to do things on an evening. Um, but um, I don't want too much work. Um, but I just don't know. I don't know the crotch cover situation, to be honest. I don't know if you can just drop the hood down type of thing and still drive. I've got all this learning. So I have booked myself onto a course. It's called a helmsman course. Um, and that goes through how to do the ropes, how to um, know the signs, how to navigate, how to go through locks. Um, the best way to reverse, the best way to basically park up, um, just basically everything. That was one question I must admit my son asked and he was like, do you have to learn how to drive like you do a car? And I was like, actually, no, you just have to get a license. Whether or not you get insurance for your boat, that is a completely different thing. So, um... I have got insurance, but it was for another boat. So I need to redo the insurance this week. I've got a lot of forms to do for the house as well. So a lot of sorting out this weekend and make sure that um, it's everything's ready, everything's done. Um, and hopefully at the end of this time next week, I've got a boat. <laughs> if not you're coming along the same old boats so right this is my first short reel and i hope you enjoy it and i hope you come along but any advice anything anyone can give i mean at the moment i don't know if you can see i don't think you can see but i'm literally turning my house upside down at the moment to declutter get rid of everything uh, I'm selling everything selling all the furniture selling my car literally I only want to store the things that are really important or something that I really don't want to let go anything that doesn't that I've kept just in case all gone all gone which is a big thing for me but I'm definitely going to do it so I'll talk to you next time okay bye bye